Hello again, my friends. You see, we have to fix something today. Um, here I have Ketron FS6 pedal, six contacts, six switches. It's very useful because you can use your feet, you know, to change things uh, in real time, like uh, different uh, variations of uh, self-accompanying style. Problem here is that uh, this uh, connector had an accident. So it's broken. You see, I have a screw missing and the plastic is smashed. The pedal is working, but uh, I wish to replace it with this guy. This is a DA15 or DB15 sometimes, a 15 pin connector, which evidently is getting into my little uh, machine here. And it's also very useful for any kind of Ketron uh, keyboards, modules and so on, you know, which uh, obviously have this kind of connector. For now, let's see what we can do. Uh, maybe I can change only the plastic case so I don't have to do all the soldiering again. It's not a big deal. It's seven wires, in fact. And here we have two of these Phillips screws, three millimeters. Okay. Yes, I can see. I can only... Okay. Oh, this is beautiful. So I don't have to do all this soldering again. Everything looks good here, solid on the ground. Okay, let me let me twist this a little better. Nice. You see, I I got a feeling that it's a little bit twisted there, you see? Oh, I don't care. Okay, let's open this guy. Come on. All right, there we go. If it fits, I'm in the business. Okay. That should go like this. And we have this plastic thingy there for keeping the connector effectively in place. <laughs> Not only fits, but it's exactly That's it. You see what I'm talking? Uh, it feels like a little bit out of, but that shouldn't be a problem. Okay, that's the way it's sitting there. Come on. Yeah, the cable. I don't like the way it fits there. No, oh, it's good. Okay, let's get the screws back in place. And that will also keeping, uh, will keep this in uh, position. Oh, that's fine. And that's all. Easy job. Let me have this back because you'll never know when you need it. I had this 15 
uh, pins, plug or connector for years in my uh, shelves, in my cabinets around. I thought I never use it. But you see, you'll never know. So I'll keep that just in case for spare parts. This can be fixed somehow. Yeah, okay. Now let's do a test. Okay. And I'll have my beloved MIDJ ready to run. Power on. This one gets connected here. Tie the screws like that. I recall we had some settings here. We can see menu and there we have the foot switch menu okay so now it's um, a sync to the arranger changing the sections or i can say the complexity of a uh, auto accompanying uh, style in real time style of course switch one arranger a b c d and so on with five i have in fields and six breaks and of course, if you have a bigger pedal, you can do whatever. You see, I can change everything here. I can um, make it uh, to vocalize text up and down, playlist, playlist, all kinds of commands usually sing to the switches on the front. Okay, now let me have a style ready to run. We're going to hear only the drums, like that. We are on section A, pushing number two. We are on B. D, let's have a feel. And back to A. Of course, this should stay down on the floor like this. By the way, it's a very solid pedal. You can jump on it. You can jump on it. One. Section B. And let's say fields. Okay, so that's it for today, people. I hope it's useful. This is F6 uh, pedal for Ketron. The connector got uh, fixed, I may say, many years from now on to work. I hope uh, it's useful and like usually, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, push the like button. It helps me to keep the channel alive. Thanks again, my sponsors, Radu, Radu G, uh, Vlad and uh, Chuck. And like always, don't forget, have fun. Bye-bye.